Hello dear students, I am Samir Velenkar. I welcome all of you to this third video on structures in C. In first two videos, we saw how to declare a structure and how to make variables of that structure. We also saw how to access an individual member of any structure. Now this video, very small video, is again about declaration of a structure. <music> Now, alternate way of declaring a structure is you can use type def. You can use type def, which actually means means create create a new type. See what you are defining. You are using type def means you are defining a new type. That's so easy. Now, let's say let's say we want to declare a structure for employee again, just as in the earlier slide or earlier video. Now, how do you declare the structure in that video was you wrote struct EMP, name of the structure. Then you wrote members of the structure, ENO, name and salary. And then you ended the structure with semicolon. Isn't it so? So you created the structure in the very first lecture series of structure topic like this. Now, the alternate way of creating a structure is by using type def. Now, what does type def do is it creates a new data type. Now, type def followed by struct, don't give any name here now. Don't give any name. Like we gave the name as EMP. And then you write the fields, the members are ENO, name, and salary. And end this usual, as usual, end this with close brace. But immediately after close brace, give a name like EMP and then end with semicolon. Now, this word EMP has purely become a new type. You will see that you will see the advantage of this particular declaration when you use this particular declaration for making variables. Now, let's let's go here and see how do you make variables of this type. Now, this line is read as E1, E2, E3 are variables of type EMP. Are you seeing something missing here? Yes. I hope you have observed the previous videos very carefully. If whenever you wanted to make variables of EMP type where EMP was a structure, you had to write the word struct before this. You had to write the word here. But now you have made this EMP as purely a data type. Like int, float, double, you have made this EMP as a data type. So you use it as a data type and make the variables E1, E2 and E3. That's great, isn't it? Come again, come again with an example. For instance, suppose in my program, I declare, I declare a structure, structure called point. I'm not using type def. Then every point has x coordinate of float type and y coordinate. For example, a point can be 2.2, 3.2. So x and y will be float. And suppose I end the declaration like this with semicolon. Then to create variables of point type, I will have to write struct point. Oh, I'm so sorry. Struct point P1, P2, P3. P1, P2, P3 are variables of type struct point. But notice I have to write this word struct because the data type right now is struct point. But now what if I what if I write this declaration like this? Type def. So I am de defining a new type, then struct. Don't write the name here now. The name like point is not written here. Followed by float x comma y. And then while ending the declaration, you can write a point here. So now this word point has become purely a new data type. So now to declare variables, you don't have to write the word struct. You can say point p1, p2, p3. After all, whether you do the declaration this way or whether you do this way, it makes no advantage, absolutely. But the better thing is that here in the second type, second declaration, point has become purely a data type when you use type def. Of course, you are still open to declare p1, p2, p3 right over here. I hope I am not scribbling a lot. p1, p2, p3, you can declare it right at this point instead of wasting a line like this. I hope you have understood what do you mean by type def and how to use type def to declare a structure and make a new type. 
Thank you very much.